Shalom, Shalom. I just want to do a quick video. So before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'asum, Yahweh Shai Ba'asum, Rakai Kadai, Staban, Star Apostles, and Elders. A great millstone must respect to you brothers out there. This precinct's word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Tabernacle of David that's being risen up, the hopeful lake, and the speckled bird scattered abroad as well. I want to say Shalom. So once again, I just want to do this quick video, you know, uh, um, you have here in um, Kentucky, Jefferson Mall in uh, Simpsonville Outlet Mall, which I, I, I really like that mall out there. They pretty much are uh, filing for bankruptcy and just goes to show you, you know, hey, these are some of the signs to look out for. Seeing that Babylon the Great is falling apart, is, is deteriorating. So his prophets going out there prophesying week in and week out and doing these sit downs. Hey, it's working, man. And and our people, Lord willing, I get the scriptures. They they searching for the signs, man. Like like show us the sign, man. That we're we're truly in the last days. There are signs, man. There are plenty of signs that the Lord is showing you that this place is through. And you proud as hell, bold as hell to go out there and stand in line and go out there and vote. How quickly you jakes out there just forget that this ain't your country, man. Still to this day, man. No matter who's in office, this place ain't your country, man. And the Lord is showing you that this place is through. This place has to pay for touching the apple of the Lord's eye, which is you, Jake. So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the speckled bird, which make up the Israelites. How quickly you guys forget. <laughs> Anyways, company owning Jefferson Mall, Simpsonville outlet shoppers fell for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, you see. And if this place was righteous, if Jake actually knew the scriptures, if Esau Edom followed the law, such as commandments, see how about Shemel Shai. No company would have to file Chapter 11 bankruptcy. They wouldn't have to do that, man. You know, seven years, any any debt that uh, anybody owes you would be forgiven. But see, Esau Edom goes against the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, and he upholds wickedness. This man is wicked as hell. There ain't no saving this man. And Jake out there trying to save, <laughs> save Esau, Edom, man. This man, he set up on his own country to fall, man. Anyways, <laughs> this place is through, man. And uh, once again, I, I I really like, you know, Jefferson Mall is all right. You know, go there from time to time just to pass time sometimes, you know, shop around a little quick little bit but these are, are very prominent malls in, in kentucky man in louisville kentucky i should say very prominent malls and, and if they end up closing down hey that's a lot of jobs lost man but this you know it's just saying it's a founding for bankruptcy you know it's it's just showing you this place is through man why do you believe it or not this this place is through you know, once again, these are, are some prominent malls in Kentucky, man. Especially the outlet mall. I, I really like it out there, man. You know, almost reminds me of um, the malls out there in, um, in uh, let's see, California. You know, it's kind of got like an out, outside feel to it. You know, you go outside and go through the stores. You know, it's, it's very, very open. You know, I, I like that mall. So I'm kind of surprised at this uh, mall is filing for bankruptcy. I'm like, man, that, that place gets a lot of a lot of people in there, man. A lot of people. But it just goes to show you, man, we out there standing on our posts, doing the will of Yao Bashim outside. This place is through. Anyways, I was going to read it, but, you know, the title... The title pretty much explains it all, man. You know, but um, 
Let's go ahead and get some scriptures, man. Well, since I'm here, this is uh, Matthew 12. And um, go ahead, I like this. Matthew 12 and 38. Then the certain of scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, talking to Yahweh Shai, we will see a sign from thee, asking Yahweh Shai to show us, a, a, showing them a sign, man. Show them that he's the Messiah, <laughs> you know, you know, show us that, show, you know, Jake out there, show us that we're in the end times, man. The Lord is showing you that we're in the end times. If you actually knew the scriptures, if you actually believed in the scriptures, you know, they just say that they trust in the Lord. What well, part of trusting in the Lord, believing in the Lord is believing in these scriptures, you know, <laughs> Yeah, these are just them same Negroes coming back, man. Verse 39. But he answered and sent unto them an evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. You see, you seeking out of the sign, man. And there shall no sign be given, be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. All right. And when you go into the history Jonah didn't want to do the work, man. You know, he, want, he didn't want to do it. So the Lord had to jack him up. You know, you're not doing the work. The Lord is going to jack you up. And so our people are searching for that sign, man. And, and by the time you get that sign, that it's the end, you're going to get jacked up. Instead of uh, uh, the Lord having mercy on Jonas, you know, the Lord had mercy on Jonas. The Lord's not going to have mercy upon you because he sent his prophets out there to warn you. All right. We, we can see it. Our eyes are truly open. We can see this, man. That's this place is through. You know, this place is through. But you can't see it, man. But you ain't. But you're going to have to learn the hard way. You're going to have to get that death by pain and understand that a prophet had been among you. You know, the Lord is showing you signs if you open up your eyes. But, you know, when you read Isaiah 6 and, and other various chapters, the Lord has closed the two thirds eyes. From seeing and from hearing the truth. You know, they got to learn the hard way. So it is what it is. Let me get um, let's go to John real quick. John uh, 4 and 34. Love this right here. John 4 and 34. Yahweh said said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. You see, we're coming in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai left us an example. And so our meat is to go out there and follow in the footsteps of Yahweh Shai, right? So we out there preaching this word week in and week out, prophesying the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom, man. That's what we doing, okay? That is what we doing, prophesying the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom, and we're seeing the effects. Esau Edom, <laughs> hey, he got to file for bankruptcy, man. You know, and ultimately this place is going, this place is going to be in shambles. You know, this place is going to be in shambles, man. This place is going to fall down. This place ultimately is going to be hit by a thermonuclear missile, man. Or tell two-thirds of Jake that, man. They they don't want to hear that, man. Hey, you tell two-thirds of Jake that you got you got rulership coming. They don't want to hear that, man. Man, there's something seriously wrong with these dudes, man. But, hey, we believe it. So we going out there and we doing that work. All right, we we doing that work, man. Matter of fact, let's get to Ecclesiastes. Probably should have got this one first. Ecclesiastes 12 at the top. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. You see, these days, hey, these days are pretty much now. It's just going to ramp up. You know, they closing down stores. You know, you talk to Jake's in the world like, man, I can't even get my favorite stuff over here. My favorite food over here. You know, these these are days now. 
You had you had time to uh, get your favorite food and and all that stuff. You know. Now the Lord is showing you, if you open up your damn eyes, <laughs> if you open up your eyes, all right. If you open up your eyes, you can see that this place is through. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble and a strong man shall bow themselves, the keeper of the house as he saw Edom. All right. And the grinding cease because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened. You see, it said the grind and cease. So. Eventually, ain't going to be no work out here, man. Now, if, the, if these malls end up closing. OK, because <laughs> you can file for bankruptcy. They don't even have to accept your bankruptcy, man. You know. You end up getting shut down. A lot of these stores do to this COVID-19. End up shutting down, man. You know. They was closing out a lot of uh, mom and pop stores. Hey, this this place is through, man. They want the big market retailers to stay open. You know, and whoever closes, they, they closes, man. You know. And the doors shall be shut up. Shut up, slack you. And the doors shall be shut in the streets. And the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird. And all the daughters of music shall be brought low. All right, so you're not going to have that music. I mean, Slacky, you're not going to have work out here, man. It's going to be utter, total chaos, man. You're going to be looking for work, and you ain't going to be having work, man. Factories and, you know, these big jobs. Hey, a lot of these places are, are closing, man, due to these protests and, and riots. You know, go uh, downtown or wherever. It's all boarded up. It's all boarded up. The Lord is showing you if you open your eyes that this place is through and said the daughters of music shall be brought low. So we're in the time where, you know, you turn on the radio. Music, is, music is trash, man. Music is trash. It has no flow, has no meaning, man. You know, and, and these artists, you know, they got to do a whole bunch of wicked ass stuff just to stay in the scene, man. You know? This this place got to go, but you you can't see it, man. Also, when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and the fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden. All right, if you're not paying attention, they got the they got the uh, locusts out there tearing up Africa over there, man. A lot of crops being destroyed. We in the end times, man. <laughs> And the Lord is showing it. And desire shall fill because a man goeth to his long home and mourners go about the streets. So it's this place is through, man. I'm going to get one more scripture or scriptures and I'll close out. Once again, man, this, this place is through. You know, and our, our people, our people can't see it. All right. I'm going to jump down to, um, I should have had these highlighted. Anyways, I'm going to jump down to Isaiah 24. Well, really, you know what? I'll just go ahead. Let's go ahead go to uh, 4. Isaiah 24 and 4. The earth mourneth and faded away. The world languish and faded away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. Okay, you proud ass people. And you ain't going to be so proud anymore. That's as, as Esau eat them, the proudest people on the earth. And that's Jake, okay? Going to be in a bad condition, man. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws and changed the ordinance and broken the everlasting covenant, you see? If you actually follow the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yonsai, this place will uh, uh, flourish, man, will prosper the right way, not in wickedness. But Esau, Edom, hey, he worships... The uh, spiritual demon Satan, man. Now people follow after the ways. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. 
Okay, that's that nuclear missile that's going to ultimately hit this place, man. All right, that's the Lord's plan, you know. You read the uh, Georgian Guidance Stones, you know, you thinking it's Esau Eno's plan. No, that's that's the Lord's plan to wipe out a whole bunch of people, man. You know, there's many of souls on this earth. Matter of fact, I got to go get it instead of butchering it. Um, Let's go to 2nd Ezra's 8 and 1. He answered me saying, the most hot. Have created this world for many, but the world to come for few. You see, verse three: There be many created, but few shall be saved. Few shall be saved. Why well, I keep doing that? Few shall be saved. All right, many people on this earth are going to lose their life, and a lot of them ain't going to have no excuse because the prophets have been out there warning you. All right, that's that's to Jake, man. But to your heathens, to hell with you, man. <laughs> but for, for our people, man, you 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 really ain't got no excuse, man. The new wine mourneth, the vine languish, and all the merry hearted do sigh. You see, I I can't I can't go out to the mall like I used to. Got to wear this mask, and oh, I can't get the food like I uh, I used to. You see, the mirth of the turbot cease. The noise of them that rejoiceth in it, the joy of the harp cease. All right. Verse nine. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. <laughs> you see? Ooh, so he ain't gonna have no joy out here, Jake. While you while you laughing and, and oh hurrah. Oh man, we, we did it, man. We we got Donald Trump out of office. You're going to find out the hard way. It don't matter, man. It don't matter. Whoever's in the president's seat, hey, they following orders. They tell them to initiate the new world order for all you uh, Jakes to get their mandatory vaccine and, and chip, which is the RFID microchip, which is the mark of, mark of the beast, I should say, Salakia. The RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. Hey, you, you going to know, man. And we told you here first. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. All right, check this. The city confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up. Them no man may come in. You seen that now as well. But it's really going. It's really going to ramp up and be worse out here, man. All right. It's really going to be worse out here. You know, read Second Ezra fifteen. We second Ezra 16. Man, it's a whole whole man, so many chapters, man, that you can read. Matthew 24. We just in them times, man. The uh Slacky, let me see. Verse 12. And the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. Did I read that? Let me see. Verse 11. There's a cry for wine in the streets. All the joy is darkened, and the mirth of the land is gone. You see? Murph of the land is gone. They got found for a, a bankruptcy. And, and, and then and ultimately, this place is going to be hit with thermonuclear destruction, man. Matter of fact, let me go to Isaiah 13. All right. Let's see what I want to get. This is uh, Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. You see, <laughs> this place is through, man. Ultimately, when the Lord comes, because Jake ain't looking for the Lord to come, man. He's looking for the new president to save him. All right, he's looking for that uh, vaccine to save him. You know, so everything can go back to normal. Hey, we looking for the Lord to save us. That's when we going to have rulership. That's when we going to have a kingdom, man. Joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. So all you Jakes out there that voted and not repenting and turned to the Lord and not standing on your posts, you know, because you got dudes out there 
that know you're supposed to go out there and preach, but you ain't doing it. And you're going to be made desolate out here, man. You're going to be made desolate out here. You're going to be destroyed. All right. <laughs> you see, the Lord said he, he, he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. So it's coming. It's coming. With that, until next time, Lord willing, shalom.